Suggestions for home remedies to use on children. Before we begin, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell to be updated to future health-related videos. Now let's start. We have all been in a situation as parents at one time or another where we wished things had occurred differently. It never fails, just as everything is going badly, something else comes along and makes things substantially worse. This is why many parents find that home remedies for children are not as effective as they would like. In order to improve the effectiveness of home remedies though there are a few things that you can do. The simplest and easiest changes that you can make will work with you wonderfully to ensure that you are able to get the biggest benefit possible. Never try to just rush into home remedies for children though, the results could be disastrous. If you find that you are quite comfortable using home remedies you will quickly discover that you are able to treat ailments before they are serious. However, for the vast majority of parents, especially new parents you are not extremely comfortable with the idea of home remedies. This is perfectly acceptable, you should never push yourself to use a home remedy for your child that you are not comfortable with. Taking some time to slowly increase your comfort level, as well as talking to your pediatrician about any questions that you might have could be a great way to proceed. For most new parents especially it is extremely scary to use a home remedy. A good place to start though is with home remedies that are extremely simple and only pertain to small ailments. Never attempt a home remedy that you are uncomfortable with, especially if you are a new parent and are concerned about the actual health of your baby. The simplest home remedies to do for very young children tends to be those that revolve around colds, splinters, diaper rash and other similar problems. Attempting to treat a serious ailment, such as an ear infection can lead to some serious complications and should be avoided unless absolutely necessary. By knowing which ailments are best to treat with home remedies as new parents it will be much easier to find the results that you really want. Never should you attempt any home remedy that you have not researched yourself though. This is extremely important, particularly with babies. You must take the time to actually do some thorough research to ensure that what you are going to give your child is healthy. This can be an enormous safety concern, but should always be followed through upon to ensure you are as safe as possible for your child. While most parents do start to become much more comfortable using home remedies as their child grows older you should never feel as if you are pressured to do anything. As the parent, you can decide if you want to seek the help of a doctor or seek out the help of a home remedy. The ultimate choice will be entirely up to you, most of the time after you have tried a few simple remedies with your children your comfort level will expand enough to allow you to start moving on to the more advanced remedies, but this should only be done as you see fit. With a carefully planned out home remedy you will be quite excited over your ability to help your child and avoid as many doctor's offices as possible. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.